Hey, it was good John Stinger, your local grass phobic producer, and today we're going to be going over the music theory behind Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria. Now, in this video, you can expect to learn a lot, ranging from the chord progression that they used in the song and how you can apply it to your own melodies, how to add depth to your chords through layering, and also some new chord types that you might be unfamiliar with. Now, before getting into this, I do want to make a preface that you're going to need some basic theory knowledge. Very, very basic stuff, like as long as you know what inversions are, seventh and ninth chords, and then how and whole steps are you should be golden but if you don't i'll try my best to explain along the way so yeah let's just get right into it all right so right here we have our chord progression and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play it in context with the song now today we're just covering the electric piano portion in the intro so obviously it has a bunch of other stuff so it's gonna sound a little bit incomplete but yeah this is what that sounds like Them superpowers get neutralized, I can only watch in silence The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling You're moving just like a degenerate, heavy antique is feeling distasteful I calculate you, not as calculated, I can even predict you But yeah, let's just get right into it Alright, so the first thing we're gonna go over are the basic chords Because the whole thing can be a bit daunting I'm gonna break this up in chunks, so I'll go over the first chord, the next chord, the next chord, so on and so forth So the intro of this song is in D major And for the intro, this whole thing is just a basic G major triad with some inversions And I forgot to mention this, but the yellow notes signify the root note of the chord So here's how it goes Firstly, we play our basic G major triad Next, we take it copy it over and put it up by an octave. After that, we take this chord and do what's called a first inversion, which is where we take the root note and put it up by an octave, which is why we have this one right here. And then for this chord leading into this chord, we're gonna do what's called a second inversion, which is where we take the second note of our chord and put it up by an octave. So literally all you're doing for this is taking your chord, copying it over by an octave, first inversion, second inversion. So this is what that sounds like. Alright, so the first chord for our actual progression, since the previous chord was just a lead-in, is gonna be a D major 7. That means we have our basic D major triad right here, but we also add the 7th as well as the 9th. Adding 7ths and 9ths to your chords is an excellent way to create some depth in your chords, as well as make them a lot more interesting sounding than just basic triads. And this chord plays twice for the progression. And then the next chord is my favorite of the progression. The next chord is a F major 7, though F is not in the key of D major, so we're achieving some dissonance here. And if you want to use this type of chord in your own melodies, you can think of this as a flat 3 in terms of chord progressions. So right here with the D, we're on the 1 because we're in D major, and the 3 of this scale would be F sharp, but instead of building a chord off of F sharp, we're building a chord off of F, which is flat. So here's what that chord sounds like. The next chord is just a basic G add 9 chord with an inversion. So with a typical G add 9, the 9 would be up here. But instead, we're taking the 9 and putting it down by an octave. And this cluttered chord is yet another way to achieve some dissonance in your melody. And after that, it leads into our D major 9 again. And then we have two short chord stabs. And this is going from the third of the scale, which is F sharp, to the fourth of the scale, which is G. And they're just playing their own basic triads. And then after all of that, the progression repeats itself. Now, I know that that was all a lot of information, so I'm gonna give a brief overview of the chords. So for the lead in we're gonna go with the fourth of our scale put our chord up by an octave first inversion second inversion for the main chord progression of our melody going from a one to a flat three to a four to a one three four one and then yet again with these kind of chords don't be afraid to play around with sevenths ninths inversions dissonance going out of scale all that kind of stuff so now that we've covered the basic chords i'm gonna go over some layering as well because in this melody layering is what takes these basic thin sounding chords into sounding more full and grand so for the first chord our layering is going to be very very simple we're going to turn this basic g major triad into a g add nine so we're going to skip the seventh of this chord go to the ninth which is a and instead of keeping it up here, we're gonna throw it down a couple of octaves. And then now I'm just gonna duplicate it and throw it down another octave. So our chord went from sounding like this to sounding like this. just so much more interesting. And then for the next couple of chords, we're gonna do something that is a very common trick when it comes to layering. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the root note of our chord, as well as the fifth of our chord, copy it and put it down by an octave. And if you want a really simple, clean sounding layer, this is the perfect way to do it. It's gonna work pretty much every time. So this is what it sounded like before. And this is what it sounds like now. Just so much more full. And we're gonna do the same thing for this F major seven. We're gonna take the root, take the fifth, copy it, 
put it down by an octave. Now for this G add nine chord, we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the intro with this G in the sense that we have a G add nine here. And we're gonna take the nine and put it down by an octave once, copy it, put it down by an octave again. And then yet again, we have our D major seven here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Take the root, take the fifth, copy it, put it down by an octave. And then for these last two chords, the layering is very simple. We're gonna take the fifth of our scale, which is A, and then have these two short stabs in the lower octaves. So now I'm gonna play our melody with the layering and without the layering, just so you can see how stark of a difference it is. So yeah, that's the entire melody that plays throughout the intro. And before I wrap up this video, I want to go over some key takeaways. The first key takeaway is a new chord progression that you can use in your beats to get vibes similar to this, which is going to be the one to the flat three to the four to the one to the three to the four. Another takeaway is going to be to use inversions to make your chords a little bit more interesting. Rather than just playing your basic chords, try playing around with the octave position of your chords. And finally, the last key takeaway is going to be the importance of layering and what notes you can use to layer, such as ninths, fifths, the roots, the fifth of the scale, so on and so forth. So yeah, I thoroughly hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I learned a lot of new things through making this tutorial, so I hope you guys learned something new as well. Also, this video is most definitely getting copyright striked, so consider checking out my Patreon if you want to support the channel. I'll have this FLP as well as all the FLPs to all of my beats and all of my videos on there. And as well as that, you get access to one of my sound kits per month. And finally, consider subscribing as I post one tutorial a week and anywhere from one to two sound kits a month. Other than that, it's going to be it. Peace.